I'm fortunate enough to be able to be one of the advisors for making changes for careers, which is great. And we, we do anything really from providing um, functional skills, maths and English, to obviously the maritime side as well. We have courses running in retail um, and also um, helping um, young learners who have maybe some disabilities or learning difficulties as well. So a really range. So anyone who maybe walks through that door hopefully will have something that can help them and get them either back into the workplace or in training or into some form of education. So you're dependent upon other people referring people, yes. making your your available. And referring. Yes, absolutely. We, we we rely a lot on the key workers um, who are actually based at job centres and the children's centres, and then really relying on them to refer them out to what provider they think that learner will will benefit from. And then we make sure that provider is doing what we expect them to do and, and help that young person. A young person may go to one provider or may go to two or three providers within the time um, and then hopefully at, at the end of that they, they're um, moving into to, you know, to education or into employment. So. We had some MEPs here last Friday and we had the young people in talking to them and what came out of that was that what we're offering is uh, really hands-on, is uh, very focused on that individual, uh, we are, uh, there's a, a, a huge degree of flexibility in there mm. and that they were at quite condemning of other big schemes, I will mention their names, that they'd been on where it was just right there, come in for a couple of days, we'll talk at you mm. and actually it's mm. not focused mm. on you at all. Uh, absolutely, certainly the ones I visit and go out to see the providers, you can see how focused it is on that learner and how that learner is interested in what they're doing. It's not just, I've been sent on something for two or three days. Um, it's very meaningful for them. And, and certainly when I go out and see the learners during the programme or after, I can see how much difference it's made to them. And, and that's great because that's what the programme is there for, really. So. And there seems to be, I was saying to Katie, there seems to be no barriers, very few barriers. So that if they say, well, I've got young children, mm -hmm. we've got childcare. Patients. Absolutely. Uh, whatever we yeah. we can do that bus pass we can yeah, do that absolutely. as you said training yeah. we can do that yeah absolutely it, it's it's all those small things that we think maybe are small and, and are very very big to to a young person we, we have that support for them so it might not just you know the training or or being on a um some provision to them might be a small part but the bigger part is actually traveling there and making sure the children are looked after and, and we can provide that as well so it's the whole package, which is great. I mean, I, I have only been in this sort of area since um, for nearly just a year, and, and I was really surprised at the young you know, people that would come into the job centre, and, and we were thinking, you know, right, so what education or training can we put them on? And actually, they didn't have anywhere to live. Um, they, they were, you know, hopping from friends to friends, um, and their lives were so chaotic. So really, it was taking a step back and what support there's there, which there is that support there before we actually move them into anything that's going to sort of benefit them. So yeah, it was a surprise to me. But now, it, it's um, it's great that we can do some things. So. I mean, I found it uh, difficult starting my own business years ago mm. in a sort of my own home in a middle class area with a supportive mm. wife. Mm. How mm. they can do it living in hostel accommodation, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And, and I think certainly this program, the Youth Enterprises, to, to offer that to a young person, because lots of young people do come in and want to start their own business and, want, and they have that passion about something and they've no, they haven't got any support around them, but to be able to give them that support is great and to see them develop and um, is, is fantastic, really. And, and to have, you know, I look back and think, Wow, if people had have had that support a few years ago, you know, there might be lots of entrepreneurs out there now. So, so if I ask you what you enjoy about your job, that's probably what you're saying. I, absolutely. I think my, my main thing is actually going out, meeting learners and finding how much it's made a difference. And I just think that's exactly what we want to happen.